All right, y'all, so I get a lot of questions from a lot of brand new real estate investors on my YouTube page. And usually when I'm meeting brand new real estate investors, the first thing they ask me is, where do I get started? How do I go from where I'm at to where I wanna go in my real estate investing business? So in this video, what I'm gonna do is share with you exactly how you can get started on the right track as a real estate investor coming up. Hey everybody, it's Jamel Gibbs. I get a lot of people who are confused about where to start their real estate investing business. So in this video, I wanna share with you four tips that I would implement, and I wish somebody would've told me 18, 19, 20 years ago when I started in the real estate business, I wish somebody would've gave me these tips because it would've helped me in speeding up the process to reaching my destination in real estate. First thing I wanna mention is, you wanna keep in mind that this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. So the only person you're racing against is yourself. So don't look at what everybody else was able to accomplish in their business because you don't know what they went through in order to get to where they are today. So for example, me, I have a lot of experience in real estate. I have a lot of knowledge. I was able to accumulate a lot of nice things over time but what you didn't see was the times where i was up to five o'clock in the morning working my my hands off writing yellow letters where i would go out and put banner signs out every friday night thousands of signs every month where i would be on the phone talking to motivated sellers where i would be uh just banging out cold calls and screening sellers and doing things like, you, you don't see what goes on behind the scenes. You don't see the amount of struggles that I went through to be able to get from where I was at to where I am now and where I continue to go. Because again, this is a marathon, right? This is not a sprint. So first and foremost, I really want you to have the right mindset coming into this business. This is not about getting rich in six months. It might happen for some of you, but for majority of you, it's not gonna happen that way. This is not about what you see on social media. I've done videos on this stuff already. What this is about is building something that's gonna last a long time. You're looking for longevity, not short-term gains. Okay, so come into this business with the right mindset first. I wanna share with you four tips today that I believe if you follow these tips, uh, you'll be on the right path to getting started in the real estate business. So tip number one is to first educate yourself on the process of what it is that you're looking to accomplish in real estate. So most people watching this channel right now are interested in wholesaling or some type of creative real estate investing. Okay, now let's take wholesaling for example. I have an entire wholesale playlist that you can go through video by video to be able to gain the knowledge that you need in order to be able to uh, go out there and talk the talk, right? Walk the walk a little bit and start taking some type of action. So the very first thing, if you're brand new right now, the very first thing I recommend you do is get educated on how this whole thing works. And that's exactly why you're watching this video today. That's why you're on YouTube. You watch YouTube Aversity, right? So what you wanna do is get educated. Now, as I've mentioned, what you should do in order to get familiar with the entire process is go through my wholesale playlist. Why do I recommend the wholesale playlist first? It's because honestly, in my uh, humblest opinion, wholesaling is the easiest way to get started in real estate. It doesn't take a lot of brain power and you don't need a lot of money to get started. You don't need uh, credit to get started. It doesn't require a lot on your behalf to do wholesaling. Yes, you'll spend a little bit of money on marketing, uh, but that's exactly what you're uh, learning how to do. Become a professional marketer, because if you can outmarket your competition, then you'll make a lot of money in this business. The next thing you want to consider doing after you go through all of the free information is get up a few dollars and invest in a course. Okay, the reason why you want to invest in a course is because at the end of the day, a course is gonna provide you with more condensed information. You'll find everything that you need in one place. Now I have 
what's called the REI Education Academy. I created this academy. It is comprised of multiple courses I've created over the years. I've been educating since 2006. And what I've done is I've taken the best material that I've created over the years and created an academy out of it. And I'll drop a link for you in the description box below. But the reason I'm bringing that up is because you can only, you can, there's people out there who can become very successful simply watching YouTube videos. But you also wanna be mindful that people learn in different ways. For example, me, you know, I know books, I know how beneficial a book can be, but I can't sit down and read a book. I have to listen to the book or watch a video. So people learn through different modalities. So after you gain some knowledge in the, uh, the YouTube space, what you wanna remember to do is start taking the next baby step. Invest into your education. There's plenty of courses out there that you can find for $100 all the way up to $1,000, sometimes a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily mean that one course is better than the other. You just gotta find and learn from the right person. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna pat myself on the back again because I believe that what I provide in my home study courses, uh, you can kind of tell just from the YouTube videos, all the information I put out on YouTube, how my home study course is gonna be. I've had students make a half a million dollars their first year simply by going through a $97 course that I included in my REI Education Academy platform. So you wanna start on YouTube, you wanna start you know, maybe on some of these online groups, some of these Facebook groups, and learn from the people, but you'll never get all of the information in one place that you need with all of the contracts and everything that you need without investing a little bit of money into a home study program. So that's when you level up. You go from free information to leveling up to start investing into your education. You don't think twice about investing in a college, right? Why not invest a little bit of money in something that can absolutely change your life? So that's tip number two, invest into some type of home study program. Whether it be mine or not, I don't care. I just want you to invest because number one, you're gonna have some skin in the game from your investment. And number two, you're gonna wanna go through that information. As long as you don't allow that information to become shelf help, you want it to be self help. You want it to help your situation. Tip number three, take action. I just mentioned it a second ago, right? So you gain all of this information off of YouTube and home study courses. None of that means anything if you don't do something with the information. Again, we just talked about self help instead of shelf help. I can't tell you how many books, how many courses I've per personally purchased, put it up on a bookshelf, it starts collecting dust. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you've done it before. Don't do that, right? What you wanna do is make sure that you actually apply what you're learning. So what I've adopted over the years is going through a little bit of information and going out and trying the information, doing the information, don't even try it. Then I'll go back into the home study course or the book and I'll uh, go a little further. Then I'll do, then I'll educate, then I'll do, educate and do. That's kind of a pattern that I picked up over the years which forces me to take action with the information. That's exactly how you want to apply your learning and your uh, action taking as well. You have to do because if you're not applying what you learn, then the information is useless. You just invested your time on, on, on YouTube for nothing. You just invested a little bit of money into a home study course for nothing. So to me, the best educator is actually making mistakes, getting out there and doing it, not being afraid to hit roadblocks and figure out how to overcome those roadblocks. That's how you become a better investor. You think with a creative mind. Investors, the best investors in my opinion, have a creative mindset. And I had to personally learn how to be creative in my business. I didn't understand what it meant to be creative in my business, but I learned it over time. So uh, a creative thinker will find solutions to a, to a problem. And if you can find solutions to a problem, you're ultimately gonna be a better investor because at the end of the day, you're a marketer first. So you gotta figure out how to market and get in 
the, the most amount of leads in the shortest period of time. Then you have to solve problems. That's what a true real estate investor is, in my opinion, a problem solver. Because what you're looking to do is help people. You're looking to help yourself. You're looking to help everyone in your circle. And you're looking to help property owners. If you can solve problems, you'll make the most money. And then you're a real estate investor when you uh, materialize the check that comes with all of the hard work that you put in. So again, take action. Don't sit around and sit on the information. Take action with the information. Now, tip number four is really simple. A lot of people are like, do I need a coach? Do I need to invest in mentoring and things like that? And I'm going to say it like this. I have a different uh, mindset on when you should get coaching and when you shouldn't get coaching. I truly believe that there's enough information out here on YouTube that you can get started in the business. Then I believe that you should invest a little bit into yourself. Everything I talked about in this video already, you should invest into yourself, right? But then as you're taking action, you're going to hit roadblocks and you're not going to know which way to go. At that point, it's time to start looking into mentoring and masterminding, okay? I believe that if you try to come into the business and you haven't done anything, you're not giving your mentor something to work with, okay? I believe that you need to make some mistakes. Your mentor shouldn't hold you by the hand all the way through the process because that's not gonna allow you to learn. I believe you learn best by doing, making mistakes, then having somebody show you the way from that point out. So give your mentor something to work with. That's when it's time to invest in uh, mentoring and masterminding and all of those types of programs. And yes, I do provide that as well. I'll provide you with a link in the description box below if you want more information on that. If you don't, it's fine. But I believe that this is really, it's gonna allow you to take your business and skyrocket your results when you have somebody who's experienced showing you the way, as long as you have the right person. And you can kind of tell who's doing and who's not. Don't be fooled by what you see on social media with the Lamborghinis and the, the, the photo shoots and, and, and nice houses and stuff like that. Don't be fooled by that stuff, right? You want real results? The, the people who are making the most money don't show material things. That's not what it's about. It's about longevity and being private with what you're doing in your business. So those are my four recommendations for you. First of all, get started with this free information. You're already doing it, so you're a step ahead of the game. Your next step will be to invest in some education, all right? I'll drop some links in the description box below if you wanna take a look at what we offer. The next thing would be to take action. Make some mistakes. Don't be afraid to fall in your face, okay? That's how I did it. I didn't have money to invest into a mentor. I actually went out there and did and then figured it out as I went on. Then finally, I had my, a good friend of mine. He's an, he's an old man now, but he's a good friend of mine. I can say that. Steve D. Palantino. I was already buying houses. I was already making moves. I was already successful. Steve kind of looked at my business from a bird's eye view and said, this is where you could fill in these pockets. This is what you need to do. And that just catapulted my business. He was already successful and I gave him something to work with. So that's when it's time to invest in the mentoring. So do these things first. I'm telling you, go in that order. Start with your education, your free education, all the way up to mentoring. And that's what's gonna take you from where you are right now to where you wanna go in real estate. So if you agree with me, leave a comment. Like this video, if you like videos like this and you want more information like this, and you're not subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified when these videos drop and share this video with all your friends. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.